Hello, YouTube. I made a blanket. I'm working on the pattern. Until I get the pattern out, let's go learn how to do the basket weave stitch. Okay, first of all, I started off with a bunch of half... What did I do there? Is it a half double crochet? Oh, I can't remember. Half double crochets. I did a row. It doesn't matter. For the basket we stitch, you need a foundation row, uh, half double crochets, or double crochets. I started off with a half double crochet. Okay, those were half double crochets. That's what it was. Half double crochet first. Now, you're going to go down for your first four stitches of the pattern. Do a double crochet around the post below. Around the front post below. Do four of them. You gotta do four of them. There goes three. I don't know what to shut my camera. I recorded this like a week ago. Okay. You make four front post double crochets. Then you're gonna do four back post double crochets. four of them. Just like you did the four front, then you do the four back. So keep going all the way to the end of your row. There's another back post. You know, I love this stitch. This is a fun stitch. I'm going to just babble a little bit while I do this. So we did four front post double crochets, four back post double crochets. Then you'll go back to four front post double crochets all this in the row below around those of course that's where else are you gonna put your wrap around a post now I don't do somebody told me once that you do it around the head of the stitch I do it around the actual stitch because why else would it say around the post right right around the post okay I'm gonna try to speed up the rest but look you got front post back post front post four stitches each that is your pattern the only difference is how you do the next row so let's zoom to the end of this row let's see if I can speed this up a little okay Whee! I love the magic of editing this is why I like doing voiceovers week after I record it okay so I ended at the row okay slow down no I'm not there yet okay still going okay in the row to do whatever chain for uh chain two then turn it and then i did another half double crochet now i had to do another one to get to the pattern where, where the pattern starts okay so below it i ended with a front post double crochet so when you turn it around it's in the back if you can see that it's now in the back so for the second row of the pattern after the foundation you got the foundation row and then you do your first row here there's the front post you, when it, when you turn your work now you're going to do the back post okay so that you've got it looks like two rows of a back post when you look at it from this angle from this side that makes sense but it's going to be the same pattern you're going to alternate between uh, back post double crochets or double crochet or back post and now see that one looks like it's in the front which was the back I'm going to confuse you if I keep doing that okay that's a front post double crochet do four back uh, front post double crochets so you're going to have two rows that look like that that's a back post so we're going to do a back post double crochet there is this making sense i hope so because i like to babble and i hope this is explaining it well enough because the next row you're going to switch your own up let's speed this up again Whee! i do so love editing these 
these videos. I know it takes a while for me to do them. I'm sorry, but this is fun. Okay, speed it up to the end of this row. So you've done a row of foundation stitch, two rows where you've got that is the front. Now you're going to do opposite. So right here where they're in the front, now you're going to go to the back. So you're going to do four double crochets in the back. Back post double crochets because if you look at the row that you just finished, when you're looking at it, it looks like it's on the front. So we're going to do the back. So we're going to do two rows opposite of what we just did. Does that make sense? That is a back post. So now we're going to go to the front. Double crochet around the front post. That makes a nice little stack. So you got two rows of a little square. And then you're going to have two rows of the square opposite. And that makes the basket weave stitch. Let's see. So that one looks like it's in the front. So now we're going to go to the back. And these are all double crochets. There's four stitches each. And depending on your pattern, like my pattern, I think I've got two half double crochets at the beginning and two to three on the ending of each row, depending on which way you look at it. That's why I zoomed past that and didn't tell you what I did. But you do... I'll show you in the pattern when I finish my blanket pattern, when I'm writing it. This right here, I'm, I'm recording this first before I release the pattern so that you can have a visual aid when you're following my pattern for my blanket. I'm going to put a picture of my blanket right here. See? I think I showed at the beginning of this intro. Anyways, keep going to the end of this row. This is row... Technically, it's row four of the pattern. But it's three of the actual basket weave pattern. So, I'll just babble till I get to the end instead of speeding it up again. See, we got... The pattern is four and four alternating between a double crochet around the back post and double crochet around the front post. Here, can you see that now? See how it's making a block right there? Okay, now we got to the end again. Do your chain before you turn. Do the first two according to my pattern. It's two half double crochets or three, depending on which side you're at. And we're going to, now it's Sometimes it gets a little tricky here because it looks a little funny, but right here we're doing front post double crochets again. We're doing it's four front post double crochets and four back post double crochets. Alternating between the two. All the way down. Now once I get through this row here a little bit, you'll be able to see the pattern just a little bit better. Now we're almost finished with this video. I can't remember if I did this whole row on the video or not. Anyways, here we are just repeating what we did before. Back post double crochet where it looks like a back post double crochet. Oh, I lost it. Don't you hate that? Four and four. Four and four. I started the whole pattern with a half double crochet foundation row. See, look, you can see the blocks better. See the blocks? It looks like a block now. It's a basket weave. It looks like a basket weave. Oh, there's a cat coming to help. Anyways, finish up the whole thing with another row of half double crochets. And there you go. Basket weave pattern for your crochet projects. All right. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see y'all next time. Hopefully, I'll have the pattern out soon. Keep looking for it. Bye!